But um, yeah, internet access on that. Uh, I had to have wireless. Because you could go right to your YouTube. Yeah. Maybe we should do that. Does is there wireless here? Yeah. Uh, I got it up there, and it does work. Are so. you? I'm trying to broadcast live on your stream right now, and I can tell you, I can tell you that the at and or card is not working very well. Okay. Yeah, I'm not bringing up any. Um, Let's do that. All right, well, I'll post my page if anybody really wants. That's, I feel bad about that. But basically, you know, I, was able, I show in the video, it starts right up. As you can hear a little, when it first starts up, there's kind of some, I'm assuming it's some kind of spark knocking right at the beginning, and then it kind of stops. And then, so this video basically just shows it, me starting up and it running. And then this video was a little bit later, and I had added, um, it's kind of, I noticed there was a lot of water going in. You know, when you have about five liters per minute going through a liter container, you're displacing a lot of water. So. I put a water trap and then the, this another tube with a desiccant in it, and I was able to get the thing to rev up, like almost redlining. And it would do it. It did it for 30 seconds, 45 seconds, and then it just kind of died. And then I tried to repeat that, and I kind of got it to do some. So I, I don't. It was a little bit of a, you know, I'm not. It wasn't quite re, re, able to repeat it the same way. So I don't know if I was just getting a bunch of gas traps or something but um, from that basically what from what that told me is that I wasn't really having a timing issue if you had enough gas you know we could get it to go where was it firing before it got that kind of I don't I don't know that was all it's got computerized uh, I'm pretty curve. sure it has a timing curve so you can yeah. probably look at go in with yeah. the software and it'll tell you well there's a um, this is what they call it, it's a Honda Metropolitan, and then there's a, they call it Honda Ruckus, same engine, but that one is a sport bike, and they have a lot more, um, you know, aftermarket stuff where you can program them. So at some point, <laughs> if I strike it rich, I'll uh, <laughs> try that. Have, have you seen the uh, others, uh, one of them, the two of uh, Japanese uh, scooters? I've seen a few of those, yeah, and I've seen, you know, I, maybe I'm missing some, but it basically, at the time when I did this test, I, you know, basically the only videos were Smart Scarecrow, um, and maybe I'm missing some, and then after I did that, it seemed like, you know, I'm not taking credit for it, but a lot, people seem to get motivated by that. So. Well, there, there was a guy there before you that had a scooter running, his name was Ed Holgate. Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay, so and he, he had done the same thing he'd done. He'd gotten a, uh, he put a battery pack in a, in a, uh, in a no smack case. cell on, on steroids, and basically uh, he was making three liters a minute, and he was, uh, he was motivating around town on that thing. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, but doing like a big 60 miles an hour. 60 miles an hour. I would like three to, liters a minute. I'd like I, to, I don't know. I'd like to see it. I mean, it, his cell is, it, it, like I said, the modified smack, it's about three inches wide, but about seven inches long, but he put, with the milling machine, put dimples in there, 1,800 dimples on each plate, and then did his step gap method where he turns it, brushing to keep the heat down, and like this, put a battery pack on the milk crate on the back of the leg. He couldn't get it to idle where the thing. Mm -hmm. He also light, turn the gas back on, just keep it idle, and then turn the gas back off to go down the road, but he got it up to 60 miles. The issue I have, you know, and I, they talked about that at the Ruskin show, and the issue I have, and maybe it's different, that scoot, his scooter, I think it was 150 cc. Mm -hmm. And what I found from this scooter, do you clamp off the gas, it will run 10 minutes on the gasoline. That's trapped in, in the yeah, carburetor. Yeah, just what's in the lines in the carburetor. So if someone, if he's clamping it off, I, I, I'd like to see it, I mean, and prove that you're not just, you know, yeah, you're probably boosting the gas that's in the, in the um, lines and then the car, but you know, I'm kind of, I'd like to see it. I'm not, you know, I believe him, but yeah. I'd, I'd like proof. What was, what was about that big? It's still on the scooter. 
How many, do you know how many liters per minute he was saying? Uh, there again, like he said, it was, appeared to be about three. But, but, but think, from I mean, what we've gone through with latest measurements, it, it, it could be you know, a half. well intentioned mistake or sucking fuel out of the carburetor. I, I don't know how he would shut it, he'd shut the gas off. Yeah. It's like you said, he couldn't get in the highway. Because I talked to him about that, and you know, he he told me what he was doing. You know, I talked to him on the phone, but I, you know, I, I I'm not discounting anybody. I I believe him, but yeah. You know, I'd like to see a video or something. Well, there's another factor, too, that could even be involved in your test, and that is that uh, there can be oil in the, in the cylinder, mm -hmm. and there can be built up carbon on the head, and those can actually burn and produce results that after they're burned off, those results are very good. So that's something to consider, too, is why some things aren't repeatable after sure. a few minutes of running. Right. Well, I was, every time I was able, I tried to run, run the scooter, I was able to. And I did, you know, fairly extensive testing. Can I ask you about one, one issue, the, the throttle response. You know, I've never had any success with throttle response. I mean, as long as I can set up for on stationary RPMs, I've got you know, no volume gas, no air mixture. I'll make anything to run here. I bet you I'll make it run. Okay. Uh, but I've never been able to figure out a way to vary the amount of hydroxy going into the combustion chamber to the point where I actually have any sort of throttle control. So basically, Set up for specific speed, beginning speed, I'll make it run that speed. Right. But don't yeah. ask me to raise it or lower it on demand. Mm -hmm. uh, I can do that. Do you do the throttle pump? Uh, no, because as soon as I get off air fuel ratio, yeah. very specific air fuel, if, it's not, if there's not 20% hydroxy to 80% air, it'll go pow and it stops. <laughs> you know what's missing in all these uh, tests is the regulator. Nobody runs any kind of forklift or any other um, engine on the gaseous fuel on the Well, I, well I, I am using a, a propane. Oh, well, you're using a regular. Well, I didn't bring it with me today. Nobody's using any of these experiments. I really simplified my setup to bring it today. I got it down to, but oh yeah, I mean, normally when I'm running this thing at home, I'm running at 15 pounds because I'm running pressure and I'm using a propane regulator dialed in. The problem with using those regulators is you have, uh, you have this fuel that has its oxygen with it running through the system. You get a backflash. Blow your regulator up. Yep. That's the problem. So what you got to do is you got to put the regulator on the on the entry side to a bubbler. So you got you know through the regulator into the bubbler, out the bubbler into the engine. So you know, and that affects your your throttle response. There you go. I mean the thing about running the the key to running engines on hydroxy, um, they don't respond well to loading. You can't load an engine uh, and meter it properly on hydroxy. The the way to do it is with gensets that run at constant RPMs, fairly constant loads and um, uh, transmit that to electrical power and use uh, electric motors for propulsion instead of using the, uh, the combustion engine for propulsion. I think, I think in the long run, we're going to be, we're going to be with success using, uh, there are some very specific automotive uh, fuel injectors. They have crack pressure that's low enough and are resilient enough, manly enough, uh, that we can use them. And uh, uh, although the orifice can't, doesn't change size, can using zero speed WM. See, I gave you a plug. Are you happy now? <laughs> you get a lot of plugs. <laughs> <laughs>